Hello again my precious, so uh, today we are going to have a new video because it's Friday and today's lesson uh, is a little bit off topic. Uh, we are not talking about adjectives but we are talking more about locative case and uh, some uh, questions of time. So let's start! Місцевий відмінок на позначення часу. Locative case for expressing time, time of the year or month. We sometimes use locative case to do it. So let's look through this topic and understand how to use it. Okay, here we have the days of the week in nominative case and the days of the week in locative case. Nominative case answers the question що, what? Locative case answers the questions коли, when? In this case, when we are talking about time. Other cases, you can check my videos about locative case and locative case of adjectives and find out. So, понеділок, Monday. У понеділок, в понеділок. On Monday. Вівторок, Tuesday. On Tuesday, у вівторок. Середа, Wednesday. У середу, on Wednesday. Четвер, Thursday. On Thursday, у четвер. П'ятниця, Friday. У п'ятницю, в п'ятницю on Friday. Субота. Saturday. В суботу on Saturday. Неділя. Sunday. У неділю on Sunday. The difference between у в you can watch in my video about principles of euphony. Uh, sometimes uh, we just mix them too uh, and don't care about this principle of euphony but if you're interested in it please uh, watch it if I won't forget I will put it in the corner uh, like a hint now the months of the year Sichin January U Sichni in January Luty February Ulutomu in February Berezin March Uberezni in March Kvitin April Ukvitni in April Travin May Utravni in May Cherven June в червні, у червні, in June. Липень, July. В липні, in July. Серпень, August. У серпні, in August. Вересень, September. У вересні, in September. Жовтень, October. У жовтні, in October. Листопад – November, у листопаді – in November, грудень – December, у грудні – in December. Seasons of the year – зима – winter, but in winter we say – взимку. Весна – spring, in spring we say – на весні. Літо – summer – but in summer в літку. Осінь, autumn, fall, but in autumn восени. And as expressions. Минулий рік, last year. У минулому році, в минулому році, last year. Місяць, month. Uh, у минулому місяці, last month, uh, in previous month. Це рік this year. У цьому році this year in English there is similar, but the, uh, this just uh, the 
question is what nominative case and here locative case when of some say me sets this month would some me set see this month наступний рік next year у наступному році next year у наступному наступний місяць next month у наступному місяці uh, next month, uh, but in locative case, when? Uh, 2017 year, in 2017, 2017 year, So you see the difference is uh, nominative case again answers the question what, just what? And uh, in locative case, it answers the questions when. That's why we need to change our nouns and to use preposition у в. не хочу я вечірок. Let's practice. Here we have questions, and we need to answer them using the prompts in brackets, but using them in locative case. So the questions are. Коли ви приїхали в Україну? When did you come to Ukraine? Коли ви були вдома? When were you at home? Коли ви навчалися в університеті? Почали навчатися, коли ви почали навчатися в університеті, sorry. When did you start learning at the university? Коли він закінчить університет? When will he finish the university? Коли починається навчальний рік? When will the uh, study year start? Коли ви народилися? When uh, were you born? And here is a prompt. Uh, це рік this year, минулий рік last year, жовтень, октябер, uh, наступний рік next year, вересень, септембер. Uh, all the, we have, everywhere we have prompts except the first question because you need your own month here. And you see that the prompts are in nominative case. So stop the video, try to answer these questions using a locative case. Answers. So I did this exercise for you, so you have an opportunity to check. Коли ви приїхали в Україну? When did you come to Ukraine? Я приїхав в Україну у цьому році. I came to Ukraine this year. Коли ви були вдома? When were you at home? Я була вдома в минулому році. I was at home last year. Коли ви почали навчатися в університеті? When did you start learning at the university? Я почав навчатися в університеті у жовтні. I started learning at the university in October. Коли він закінчить університет? When did he finish university? Він закінчить університет у наступному році. Uh, he will finish the university next year. Коли починається навчальний рік в Україні? Uh, when did the school year start in Ukraine? Навчальний рік в Україні починається у вересні. School year in Ukraine starts in September. Я на, uh, коли ви народилися? When were you born? Here I wrote my date. Uh, I was born in autumn in uh, November. Я народилася восени у листопаді. You can write your own, if you wish. So, uh, let's continue our practice. Березень плаче, квітень квітує. Потренуємося. Let's practice. Не пишіть, у яких місяцях народилися усі члени вашої родини. Write uh, what months all the members of your family were born. So you can stop the video and write down in the piece of paper uh, the months that your family, uh, that the members of your family were born. Uh, I will do this task for you, but I write uh, everything connected to my family. But you at least can compare or use the table here. To remember all the family members, you can uh, watch my other video about uh, my family. It's one of the first videos, so uh, you can check. If I won't forget, I will put a hint. 
uh, and uh, you will uh, go and uh, see this video and remember all the members of the family. So stop this video, write down, and then we will try to check. Vidpovitsi answers. I wrote about my family, of course, but uh, uh, at least you can check. Maybe we have some coincidence. Моя мама народилася на весні у травні. My mom was born in spring in May. Мій тато народився восени у вересні. My dad was born in autumn in September. Моя бабуся народилася влітку у липні. My grandma was born in summer in July. Мій чоловік народився у квітні. My husband was born in April. So, uh, I hope uh, uh, the first part may be pretty the same as mine, and the second part just check the table, and I hope everything is correct. <laughs> and the last practice for today. Dialog. Dialog. So, my fluffy friends prepared a dialogue for you. So, uh, right now uh, we are going to listen to it and then we will go to read and to translate it. Скраф, а коли ти народився? Я народився влітку в серпні, а ти? Я народився восени у жовтні минулому році. О, Дарка, а коли ти народилася? Я народилася у восени, у листопаді. О, Дарка, а коли буде наступне відео? Звісно, у п'ятницю. П'ятниця, вісири будні, п'ятниця. So, I hope you liked how my fluffy friends performed this dialogue. So, let's look through the phrases. Скраф, коли ти народився? Скраф, when were you born? Я народився влітку, в серпні, а ти? I was born in summer, in August, and you? Я народився восени, у жовтні, минулому році. I was born in autumn, in October, last year. О, Дарк, а коли ти народився? О, Дарк, when were you born? Я народився восени, у листопаді. I was born in autumn. In November. О, Дарка, а коли буде наступне відео? О, Дарка, when will be the next video? Звісно, у п'ятницю. Of course, on Friday. So, I hope you had lots of fun and you can learn this dialogue. And uh, it's uh, pretty useful when you're talking about locative case and time. Okay, this is the end of our video. I hope you have liked it. I hope you enjoyed it immensely, like me and my fluffy friends enjoy doing it. I hope you have learned lots of interesting things. And uh, of course, you will share that video with your friends and give it a huge thumb up. Please write me in the comments uh, any questions you will ask. Uh, I will answer them and uh, help you and give you some tips. So, uh, see each other next Friday.